Some South Florida voters are raising a red flag saying their party affiliation was changed without their consent and they want to make sure it does not happen again. CBS 4 Deborah Suverina is live in Little Havana with those details. Deborah? Maribel, the man you're about to hear from says he felt, feels as though he was misled. He has been a registered Democrat since 1985, but that all changed last December. My old one from 1985. And this is the new one you got? The new one that switched me to Republican. Juan Salazar has been a registered Democrat for more than 30 years. He says back in December that all changed, but according to him, it wasn't by choice. I said they're going to send the, the new registration card. I said they're sending out a market. They say, no, that we fill it out the application. You're going to receive it faster. The 77-year-old told me he was approached in the parking lot of his building by a political canvasser who told him he was filling out a form for a new voter registration card. But when he got the new card in the mail, he noticed he was now registered as a Republican, a shift he says he never asked for or wanted. I don't care what party it is. I don't care what side you're on. This is wrong and should not happen. Florida Senator Annette Taddeo, who is running for governor, called for an investigation into the issue back in December. She shared these photos of a canvasser who's allegedly connected to the Republican Party of Florida. She also told us she spoke with the canvasser who allegedly quit the job after learning what she was told to do. What the lady in Hillsborough told me is they were constantly encouraged and given bonuses for registering Republicans. In a statement, the Republican Party of Florida said their vendors conduct voter registration in accordance to Florida's laws. They also stated their vendors will now be taking additional measures, including using a document with a disclaimer written in English and Spanish in order for voters to be aware that they are changing their party affiliation. And I still don't receive my new card. We're here at the Haley Softy Tower in Little Havana, where several residents say this happened to them. Now, State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle released a statement saying, in part, we are aware of the recent reports relating to voter fraud registration, and we have been investigating these claims for several weeks as we take these allegations very seriously. In Maribel, we spoke to residents here who say up to 40 investigators have been stopping by this apartment complex here. Here to interview the residents. We're live in Little Havana. I'm Deborah Suverain, CBS 4 News.